stop them just Chris J, but the the push in middle here is how they sort of mitigate that light defense on the B-bomb site. Creates a fast rotation. Oh, look at this flank from the CT. Oh, twice in the face. Electronic. 100% accuracy there. Snacks will get one back. But there's more for this flank to come. And they're delaying the push into the B-bomb site. Only Chris J is there. So, Anbino to Na'Vi, they're missing out on some advantages towards B. And this is the thing. Well, they may be just able to eat all these CTs. They're going to run into the setup. Confidence. But perhaps... Now things will all change with the bomb being down in middle. Problems here, a simple, very, very weak. Does have a smoke, but now he's dead. Smoke is on the ground. Flamey, not all that concerned with that. He's going to have to go and just get the kills. Maybe, all, actually, his teammates will likely call that there is a smoke, hopefully, on the ground. He can toss it and do a block vision for the CTs, pick up the bomb and run to B. That could be an option for him. But he's going to get popped in the face. And that worked out for Mouseballs. I was afraid that they were overstepping toward B. Burst is coming. There's a flash from Snacks. Can you see smoke? 20 seconds, though, here for Na'Vi. And that's another headshot from Chris J. Finally, he'll be silenced. But can Snacks get this done? They'll line up out the smoke. He's done enough damage, perhaps. Just Edward left. And as soon as he plants the bomb, the time being as it is, they could have gone for the push there. But Oscar would have been by himself. Didn't want to risk it. Allows the bomb to go down. Allows Edward to play the 1v3. But it's going to be a difficult one. Mouse sports don't know where he's gone. They could be lining up. He's good for the double almost, but not quite. Sunny does respond, and that's two players surviving for Mouse sports. They'll pick up the round, and that is very important. And they keep two orbs too. I feel like two of them at least should have died there. But two will survive, and that's pretty important. One being deployed by Flamey. At this point, Mouse Sports, they don't have any info top mid apart from Snacks on Arch, but that leaves Chris J alone in the B bomb site. How many repeats can he get? There's a Molotov, and he's got to run all the way around it. Dancing around the pillar now, but he can't get the kill. Snacks makes his way close, but he gets fragged immediately. Now we've got a three on three retake. One flash for Mouse Sports, and that's it. Oh, God, this is scary. Simple. Oh, he's gone off the angles. Oscar is fortunate with the timing as he is now pushing forward with his team. And, oh, that, I thought that was going to be a connection. Might be a big chance now, but Electronic around the corner. Oh, he's looking for that boost. He's going to spot it as well. And Oscar does get a trade onto Simple, but Electronic, he's quite the man to stop. But Oscar, he's the man to stop him. Too many places to look. And Flamey will close it down. So uh, very costly. The boiler position. And now we have more map control than they've normally had. Which may be telling of the situation for Mouse Sports, but Snacks makes making a play. There's another flashbang. You won't see the player behind him, but it's the player in front of him who gets the kill. Electronic's been left on 4 HP, but he's still alive. And you can't say the same for Chris. He's gone down as well. That's going to cause a rotation. Oscar will make his way over. And the smokes will go down. And so now there'll be high alert for Na'Vi, or rather for Mouse Sports about B. But Na'Vi, they've got a minute. They've got the entire map. They're going on an investigation. And it's quite smart too, Electronic, he's got 4 HP. So he's going to be the man to venture through the smoke. And Zeus is going to go down. Ooh, does that send them towards the A bomb site where Sonny and Rops have not moved a muscle? We see some freedom of expression, if you will, on the mouse board side. Let's not forget the two versus five retake on train many moons ago. But Oscar being here is a problem. And maybe now if you're asking the question, where are the remaining two players? Well, Oscar's continuing to hold his sight down. There's the bomb as well. Here can come the rotation, but Flamey's on the flank position. He's kept Rops in the pit in the meantime, and Rops has taken him out as well. That leaves Electronic. What on earth has happened to this round? Navi looking for the information, and Oscar with another ridiculous play, looking for the 4K. Electronic with 4 HP, and there it is from Oscar on his own in a round where almost everybody else would save. Or die by mid, top mid, that is. Sunny with a... Nice angle here, close range with the MP9. It's got great running accuracy, so it's really strong in these some of these peaks. Oh, he might catch one with an A in his hand. Oh my god, he was blocked by the grenade. Opportunity is missed, perhaps, but they will dart out, and the trades will be quite good. Oh my goodness, Oscar. That's a very fast double from him, and Rops will finish. Stuff from the logs. We'll get a headshot onto Flamey. Maybe through the corner of the wall, but Flamey will be the bait now. He will be the maggot on the end of the hook, and the fish is on the way. Well, a quick couple of trades coming in, and that might even the odds, but they are committed towards this push. They have to make it work. And Simple has something to say about that. Just Oscar left, and he will get take one straight to the face. And that is the start you want on the speed tees. Simple will not give up his life just yet. And Mouseballs could decide to try to wait for Sonny to do something there, but it's going to be Chris to pick up a P250 kill in top mid, and that's going to allow Mouseballs to progress. Oscar. 
Dancing around a smoke on Arch. Mouse Sports slowly creeping forward. It's going to be a pop flash easily seen, but the second one will hit Zeus. Electronic, oh, he moves back. He's compromised his position. And there are more frags here for Mouse Sports. Flamey top mid now. It's a five versus two. What on earth is going on? Oh my god. Sonny had, what, 15 HP. And he still survives there. Zeus goes down to two. Gets a one dig. What just happens? There's a, there's a lot of guns for them to collect here as well. This is a problem for Na'Vi. Oh my. Zeus has got fist on face. Don't even want to imagine what Simple's thinking right now. Just looking at a door. Those knockers aren't bad. And everybody will survive for mouse sports in a four spy round on the T side of Inferno. Not something you see every day. Just enough. It's pretty deep. So shooting Gary for Flamey, but his legs will be seen by Oscar. And that's an easy kill for him. Yeah, Oscar picking up two as they try to sandwich them. And now Mouse Wars can, can just go back. That's what they feel. They're going to just entertain this push on the flank. Na'Vi have electronic. That's one. Oh, we will jump up. And that will not allow him to be all that accurate. And so it's, it's just one. I don't feel like he meant to jump up there. It looks really weird. We have a race. And he must be frustrated. And indeed, we do have a race. But Edward has position. He's cut the noise. And Chris Jake gets taken out looking the wrong way. More MP9 frags. Running out of bullets, though. It's a two versus one now. Sunny, next bullet wins, surely. Anyone's bullet. Take out the other player. Edward with a pre-fire. On one HP, Sunny will get taken out. Na'Vi, smoke last. Ooh, if they move past library, close range of the MP9, it could be absolutely brutal. Simple at the back now will surely force them forward. Edward moving towards the arch position, and Zeus is delivering as well from the site. Now they try to rotate towards B, jumping to avoid getting a headshot. Edward trying to limit his risk. Zeus will lose that duel to Oscar. This is so weird. What's going on on the B bomb site? Like, Mouse sports have no idea. And it seems they're trying to catch the CTs on the rotation. They've got 35 seconds. But while this is happening, Simple's down to, towards the banana position. And now the bomb's been dropped. This is collapsing for Mouse sports. They're getting eaten by a black hole. Na'Vi looking for more matter. Going past the angle as Oscar. One versus two, he wants to take Edward out. But 20 seconds, he knows Simple will be encroaching on his position. He will be the hot dog in a sandwich, Ooh. and there's no plant for mouse sports either. That's quite the at this point to be an A play. No one in apartments, no one top mid, holding the pop flash for the pool position. That is beautiful. Here comes a push. They are completely blind, but the, the angles are too deep in the site, so they won't take any kills from that. A trade on the site, and Simple's looking for someone. That's the first one. They try to plant the bomb, and oh wow, he'll lose the jewel against the C set. That's a big one, and there's big opportunities here. The P90 has betrayed Zeus, and Sonny will pick it up. He's picked up the, the P90 as well. So. Three versus two for Na'Vi, and there is a kill on Edward, but no grenades. As mentioned previously, they are sorely lacking that utility, and that makes it very difficult. Moving into crossfires like this, Snacks has to look the right way, but there's the trade fragger coming in handy as Chris J locks it down with a 3k. Mouse Sports really needed that round, and it almost went sideways. Might be a balcony burst. They're charging everyone up second mid, except Oscar sitting in that mid position. Electronic, though, does have presence. They have a setup here. This could be devastating for Mouse Sports. I'm not sure what they can do against this unless they try to pre fire these positions or spam it. That's a great flashbang, though. And it might have to come down to these balcony players because they've lost their presence in top mid. Zeus is gone. Arch is there for Mouse Sports. Do they continue to press forwards into the orb? They will. With some flashbangs, but Flamey's so far away. He won't get flashed as much as he otherwise would. And now the push stops for Mouse Sports. Opportunity came with massive risk. Sunny still in the arch position. There's a smoke down in the arch, but Simple is behind that smoke. Quietly moving in. He has an AWP, and he's already scoped in, so there's no warning for Sunny. He may just get shot out of the sky if Simple goes deep enough. The bomb picks off now. You hear Sonny getting the frag, but Simple has a creep, honestly, quietly. Now Max must have to be much, but the instant trade is there from Simple. Quick spray as well. And the gap is close to one, however. Obviously, it's simple sitting on Banana with an AWP, so going back would be very frightening. And they're going to commit into this. No split. Everyone thrown quad side. This is going to be very hard for Mouse Sports. Look how many guns are aimed around the side of this smoke. Oh, my God. Do you save at this point? It 20 means... seconds will feel like plenty of time. But they're just not being given anything just yet. Starting to push it. Which way is it going to go? Flaming with the first kill. All blue in the kill column. Mouse sports get absolutely annihilated. Gatling guns from Na'Vi. They just had too much position. Yeah, there's nothing towards A, so Na'Vi's still convinced to hold three players to B. The set piece is going to come in. It's going to come down to just who hits the shots at this point. 
Well, somebody's on fire. So far, so good for Mousebots. Edward forced into the open, but completely blind. And that is the casket closed on him. And that's the round immediately. That was, that was a really nice set piece. Everything was on fire. There was nowhere to stand. That's how you, if you're going to do it like that, if you're going to just give up all presence around the map, then you better have a strong set piece. And Stax, he's on the hunts. I think he has been hurt by electronic, but will Stax somehow snuff him out? Not quite. It's a big round to win. Still banked though for Navi. Yeah, because of that previous round. It keeps them in this game. That was quite the execute from Mouse Sports. Reminiscent of um, their T sides on Old Dust 2, not necessarily for executes, but just how they would slowly take map control and flashbang absolutely every angle where you might have an AWP, for example. It was a joy to watch. Of course, with somebody, with somebody like Chris J, who would abuse how this usually looks for Navi. Navi have every other time oh rotated on. So they may feel like there's no one else here. And that's a free kill for Edward. Number two as well offered up. Do they dare try to trade him? It's Oscar with the AWP. It's not as easy to swing out as with the rifle. Simple. Peeks back out with an AK. Savage. And he had no flashbangs to help his teammates. So he just came out and shot people in the face. And that's simple for you. All of a sudden, this is falling to pieces for Mousebots. They haven't got a single kill in this round. It is Snacks versus Five with 20 seconds. He's got to do some damage. But also, he doesn't have money to buy if he goes down here getting tagged. What does he choose to do? The rest of his team can buy. Does he prioritize damage? There's one. He could do a lot more here. We've got a player jumping on the barrels. But Simple will deliver the kill. Simple and Edward, the closest players to peak. Both things. They know at worst, unless there's a huge risk, they're against only two here. The setup, though, quite, is quite good here for Na'Vi. Flamey's on the way to CT, but he's got no flashes for the pool position. Edward's blind again. Flash off the flash off the flash. And Sonny is blinding these players. Flamey delivers over the AWP, but now he's been smoked off. And it's a two versus three. He's looking for a cheap kill for a player jumping into the barrel position, but Mouseports will take no such risk. And it will be Mouseports moving to game point as Na'Vi move away from the B-bomb site. It's, I like how the setup was for Na'Vi. I think if they had... So it's really cool from Mouseball Squad because if Na'Vi have a little, just a tiny bit more warning that that push is coming in, they can smoke off, they can play retake. Maybe they, they get a kill with the boost and then fall back and they wait for the rotation and they go for a retake because they're playing outside of the site. But because Mouseballs played contact, there wasn't the time to to be able to slow them down. And because of that, they had to fight to the death and they couldn't survive. And the trade is always going to favor Mouseballs there. So here again, it was ready with the pop flash. This could be messy. We'll see. Pushing through the smoke. You heard the footsteps, Chris J, but couldn't get the kill. Simple. He needs to deliver these kills. He's missing these shots. And then pushing on his position, there's an instant trade. But the bomb site is now with Mouseballs. We've got a three man retake attempt here from the CT position. Still trying to get into position. And Flamey's going to have some trouble on Banana because Oscar is waiting for him. Two AWPs in a close plant position. It's going to be really strong for Mouseballs. This might be it for Navi on the first map. Barrel showing. Oh, Susie can't quite get an angle. Sonny drops behind cover just in the nick of time. Snacks with the finishing blows, and that's 16 14 for Mouse Sports. You couldn't really ask for much of a closer match. Uh, what a great performance from both teams. All the rounds, all 30 rounds between those two sides. A very arduous task for, for both of them to find momentum. So many trades back and forth, so many force buys, but ultimately.